lovely day here. Yeah, it's really summery now, getting there. Yep, <laughs> the lines are growing nicely. Yeah, somebody's got to cut the ground. Yeah, somebody. Anyway, so I'm making a video. Um, I got so much to do, just don't have time for anything. It, work and such, it's irritating. I should just be paid to think. That's how it should work. So I do that so well. All right, so now I'm going to think on the subject of this value problem again, but it just keeps coming up. This subjective word is just so freaking obnoxious. And these trolls in the comments, they just say stuff like, here, I just proved it by saying it. Well, value, subjective, idiot. Oh, because you say so? <laughs> I mean, uh, I mean, to understand it, let's say there's this idea of value and that I, value would be recognized. It'd be something you'd say, okay, that's the job. We recognize it. Now, we can also project it in that I can make something valuable. So I was just thinking of an example. I used to value being the first person to jump in the pool. Okay, yeah, I'd say, wow, that has some value. Yeah, I'm the first, the bravest, as I went to the coldest water, blah, blah, blah. And I value doing that. No, I don't value that anymore. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. I guess I just grew up a little. And uh, maybe I figured, oh, it, the, one of the kids will like doing that, so, so I'll give them the trophy instead of taking it. No point in me winning every year. So that was a projected value. It doesn't, it's not a real thing of value. It doesn't, there's nothing. I'm entirely manufacturing the problem or the solution. This, it's, 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 essentially, that's probably a good way to put it. Whatever problem there was, like somebody has to be first in the pool, was just an invention. <laughs> that is a silly notion that it matters who's the first in the pool. So it's all a projected problem. That's why it has no real value. We didn't, uh, you know, rationally come to the conclusion that there's some real stake difference, real difference difference, real wor meaningful difference between a world where nobody knows who was first and a world where somebody knows who was first. No real difference. It's inconsequential nonsense. Um, so that's projected value, where people get good feelings or bad feelings based on some competition that produces nothing. Now with the idea of consciousness and sensation, so this is where they really mess it up. Is they, won't, they don't even concede that negative sensations are by definition negative. That they have negative value by definition. You can't have a negative, unpleasant, revolting sensation and then say it's value neutral. That would be oxymoronic? No, that would be <laughs> idiot moronic. That would be double moronic. That'd be moronic times the speed of life squared. I mean, you, you just can't do that. You can't sit there and, and try with some verbiage or language to undo the concept of negative, to say that the feeling doesn't by its very character reek of negativeness would be denying a truth. That's a realized truth. It's a recognized truth. Negative, revolting, obnoxious sensations are a bad thing, a negative thing, a degrading thing, a value negative thing to experience. Um, that's just a truth. It's not subjective truth. I don't care what's causing your feeling. That may be value subjective. That may be mush or gibberish or gobbledygook. Maybe somebody is bothered by the term gobbledygook. Maybe it, you know, resonates and vibrates in their brain in some way. There's lots of phrases people use every day. Twitter, you know, that creep my brain the fuck out. Uh, and, uh, yeah, that's a subjective interpretation, meaning it's completely my personal problem. It's not a universal problem. The problem of negative sensation, of re revulsion, of, of uh, 
misery, torment, agony. The problem of agony is a problem universal to sentient organisms. It's not a subjective manifestation. It's manifested in anything sentient. That's the definition of it. That's what it does. That's what distinguishes it from things that aren't sentient. Sentient. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's what distinguishes it. Um, and so you might as well just say consciousness doesn't exist, which is, in my opinion, from personal experience, would be a ludicrous thing to do. I don't know how I could possibly negate the existence of something so, <laughs> you know, fundamentally, uh, just look, hey, look at it. It's, look, look at it. It's happening right here. How can you not say it's happening? It's an event of consciousness. And it's an event that happens in the universe. An accurate description <laughs> would be to acknowledge its fundamental character, built into it by nature. It's not accidental. The bad feelings are bad or negative or repulsive or um, worthy of declaration as get away, horrible, bad. They're worthy of that declaration. They've been made to be worthy. That's their entire function. And to say they're not a real problem because it's a mental uh, event, again, it's just to, you might as well just erase consciousness as a function. And I just don't see how that's reasonably possible when you've experienced one. How, how can I reasonably negate a magnetism I've, I've felt? a force I have felt. I have felt the force difference between uh, uh, relief and comfort and torture, agony, and suffering. I know the difference between those. And for me to deny that there's a difference, I just don't know why somebody would do that. I mean, I know why. I mean, because they want to cheat philosophy. They want to cheat the truth so they can justify being selfish cunts. But beyond justifying being selfish cunts, what, what rational reason could there possibly be to attempt to viscerate or eliminate the existence of the very nature of our consciousness, the very nature of its existence? Like I said, it's existed for 500 million years. Organisms have been saying, ouch, and they've been saying out for a reason, because that's what nature wants them to feel. They want them to react as if this was a bad thing, not a good thing, a negative thing. And this is the way negative in the world, when it's recognized, is converted into this feeling. The negative doesn't exist out there. This is true. The negative exists in our feelings. But our feelings are real. They're an event in the universe. Sorry, I shouldn't have done this next to the stream. I had to do something. Oh, yeah, I had to light the cigarette. Sorry. Wasn't even that much left. My bad. So anyway, I should go for a run. Oh, I'm tired and it's hot. But I'm old. And <laughs> I gotta keep what I got left. Keep what Keep. Yeah, whatever. You know what I mean. Ah, it's nice here in the shade. So anyway, um, so yeah, I don't know. I guess it's a being able to translate words into something meaningful. But I would think just the idea of anguish, uh, misery, suffering, torture, that that would be enough. That people would know that, yeah, we know those things are things that happen. And we know there's just no way to confuse them as benign, as, in, as if it doesn't matter, as if that's just as good as uh, some neutral state. That's impossible. You just can't say it's just as good as. 
It's not rational. It's not fucking rational. But these word games, it really is disgusting. I mean, like I said, I've said it before, but man, did I ever not realize how dumb people are. I, I mean, I really didn't think this was at all a, an issue for anyone ever to even have to... I never had to have the discussion with anyone in my entire life over whether or not feelings re really were important. Whether or not it really mattered whether my sister was in terrible pain or not. I, I never even... even Never, until I got on the fucking weirdo creepo net, did I ever have a conversation with anyone over the reality of sensation. So I guess that should tell me something, that I'm not really talking to humans. I mean, you know, in the generic sense. These are exceptionally fucked-hearted trolls, and that's all they are. These Nietzscheites have got to go down. <laughs> They're just a disgusting aberration. They're misrepresenting... Human beings are assholes, but they're not as big an asshole as these Nietzscheites. Nietzscheites. I like that. Nietzscheites. 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 That's what you are, fuckhead. Yeah, well, I can only wish you the most horrible, slowest death possible, because it's, to, in your opinion, that's a neutral outcome. <laughs> so I hope you get the worst, the most horrible death possible. Because um, from your own perspective, it's a neutral outcome. And from my perspective, it's sure what you fucking deserve. You fucking shit-talking butt-fuck. I, mean, <laughs> I mean, come on. I, I just can't believe people can be this fucking stupid. Oh, it doesn't matter. Torture? Uh, blowjob. Torture? Blow no, no difference. Fuck you. Yeah, right, add on, I think. Yeah. Um, okay, so I was thinking of an example. So let's say that cupcakes made me sick. So I would say, from my perspective, cupcakes are sickening. Now, obviously, that would just be a subjective opinion based on the fact that I don't agree with cupcakes and vice versa. But as a general rule, cupcakes would be said to be not sickening because for most people, they don't create sickness. Now, sickening is a state of being, okay? And when it's caused and you are sickened, that is a bad thing, generically. Um, certainly you can find deviants who might say, I like being sick, or having sickening feelings. It seems almost impossible because then they wouldn't be sickening feelings. Just like pain isn't pain if you enjoy it. It's not the definition of pain. <laughs> it's not the definition of agony is something I enjoy. That wouldn't make any sense. So, you know, one is uh, an interpretation made by your body, where your body reacts and creates sensation. The other is the definition of the sensation. So again, the cause is not the effect. You can have stupid causes for sensations. I mean, unnecessary causes. But the absolute fact of something happening, it's still a happening. Experiencing negative sensations is an experience. It happens. Uh, it's not something subjective in the sense that it happens as a real thing, as a real event. So the event of experience is different than the thing that causes the event of experience. So I think to say that experiences are subjective would be wrong. What is subjective is your interpretation of the events that cause experiences. That is subjective often, but some of them can be qualified or classified as objective for the sake of rational argument, like nail in the eye. You can't really find a normal functioning sentient brain, I don't think, that would find nail in the eye anything but an obnoxious, horrible, bad experience. As an experience. Not as an event, but just as an experience. 
as a conscious reaction to it. Uh, maybe it's therapeutic, maybe it's a lot of things, but it wouldn't matter. The point is the actual experiencing of the sensations that will be caused by having a nail in your eye will be bad, almost for the sake of argument, universally. Again, not a subjective thing, not an individual, not subject to individual interpretation. It is plainly a fact. Revolting sensations are bad in and of themselves by definition, by rational definition. It's so perfectly reasonable to have words to describe the substantial negative nature of bad sensations. These are accurate statements, not subjective mush. But like I said, this isn't a conversation for real people. It's a conversation for lunatics. I did that apparently just, the internet is just covered with them. Misogynist lunatics. Really is a pitiful, <laughs> yeah, it really is a sad state of the world. I mean, you think the information superhighway is dominated by complete imbeciles. Quite frightening. Anyway, I'm quite fatigued. <laughs> yeah, it's uphill. Uh, uh, way uphill. Uh, doing work against gravity. Eh. So, enough of that. Back to my chores. And such. Lovely day, though. Lovely, 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 lovely. Just lovely. Ah, so the grass anyway. I um, figured I'd take a little break. Um, anyway, I just, I just clicked this, you know, I checked to see if Hothley made a video. Big mistake. So he made some stupid video, uh, and then um, has no answers or something. And it's just such a pile of crap. Well, anyway, and I just, I saw a Logic Rolls the Dice comment where he said, he's done this before, and then when we talk about it, you know, he undoes it, and then he does it, and then he undoes it, which is... I find so obnoxious, the inconsistency people are demonstrating is just outrageous. <laughs> you know, and when it comes to a philosophy where you're going to say something like, yes, I know it in my heart, um, and yes, I would press a red button. So, so he said, he left a comment, something to that stupid Vic Mackey cunt. Um, you know, it's just all the rag commenters, and you know, I'm just too busy right now to get to it. <laughs> so I'm just not gonna, you know, I have to get the vlogger dome thing done. Physics, yeah, more complex. Anyway, um, so so he leaves a comment. I still concede the is ought gap. By the way, and I'm just my brain just rolls over and it says, well then why are you doing philosophy on the internet? Why don't you just masturbate? Why don't you why don't you tell us your favorite bedtime stories? Why don't you waste our time in some other way? I and mean, why bother doing philosophy at all? If you believe there's an is odd gap, what is the fucking point of doing goddamn philosophy? If it means absolutely nothing, if you're conceding there is no truth you're seeking or discovering, that there is no should that's logical and rational based on the facts that exist, how the fuck can you do philosophy? I mean, in any kind of rational way. How can you not be just a preposterous hypocrite just saying, I smell so fantastic, and all of my subjective impulses and my subjective little little feelings I have are all correct. I like the color blue. Blue is the best color because I subjectively say so. And on all these other subjective subjects, like suffering and misery and pain, I will subjectively tell you what they subjectively mean to me, and that's the fucking truth. And you're going to call that fucking philosophy. I mean, either you're going to talk about what you think the fucking truth is, or you should shut the fuck up. And you can't think there's a fucking truth if you think there's no facts pointing to it. And the truth is about oughts. So if you can't understand any ought truth, if you can't believe it exists, then you can't possibly talk about the facts that indicate it, can you? I guess not, retard.
I mean, I don't even know how you could fucking, you know, you, you have this pretense that you know it all because you read some fucking books and you can't even figure out the ABCs of fucking fundamental logic, which are, you can't be fucking telling somebody, I am telling you my subjective truth. <laughs> yeah, right, that's an oxymoron. You can't put subjective and truth together. That's absolute bullshit. So anyway. Oh, just so. Kept. Very pleasant scenery there. Except that there's that little twig in the, in the beauty of it all. Ugh, let me get that out of there. There now, it's much more scenic. I have an old bench over there that I found. In the, in the welfare people rubbish. Anyway. Uh, what a mess it. Mess, 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 mess. More stuff for me to do. Ah, tomato plants are almost, uh, they're getting better. <laughs> yeah, they're still kind of scraggly, but it's, it's all I got this year. You're going to have to do, pig. <laughs> These are really, I don't know what went wrong with them, but I just, it was that cold weather or something. They were inside. But, you know, maybe it got cold inside. Uh, amaryllis, lovely, 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 yeah, lovely, lovely. Yeah, the white one got smushed. Did grow in a glass of water. I mean, so I can't, you know, did that. Fl the flower's just a little bit lame. That's all. All right, I'm just finishing the cigarette. You know, waste, not whatnot. That's really a word, right? Waste. Suffering is bad, and the art is obvious. It should not be wasted. Waste and bad. Never waste bad. Okay, <laughs> throw away a good, but never waste a bad. Durr. Durr.